Hello and welcome to another episode of Making It Work For You. My name is Ben Hecht. I'm with Christo IT Services, and today I am joined by a special guest, John Pizzuaro with Cape Heart Scatchard. And uh, so I, I know that we've talked in all my other videos about safely deploying and protecting your remote workforce from an IT perspective, but working from home protection for your uh, company employees goes far beyond just the keyboard. And no matter how many antivirus and any malware and VPNs and backups you have in place, you're going to need to make sure you set parameters for what's actually considered safely working from home while using your company devices and making trips to other locations during company hours. And protecting your employees from home is just as complicated, if not more complicated, than protecting them at the office. And that's why I brought in John today uh, from Capehart Scatter to share some legal tidbits for protecting your remote workforce. And some of the topics of conversation that John's going to cover include legal issues with the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, telecommuting and working from home, uh, some compensable work injuries, and considerations for employees and employers. Uh, so, John, if you don't mind, please take it away. Yeah, thanks, Ben. I really appreciate you having me on to do this, too. And like you said, I'm a partner at Cape Art Scatchard. We're a full-service law firm in Mount Laurel, New Jersey, and I specialize in workers' comp. Now, this probably isn't the first thing that comes to mind when we think of the coronavirus, COVID-19, but I do assure you there's a few ways employers and employees might find themselves dealing with these legal issues. Uh, so some of those issues include uh, what happens if an employee contracts the virus or has to miss work from the virus. Um, there's some state and federal legislation that's that's being enacted in response to the virus. But today I want to focus on the telecommuting because those issues are really complex and would probably take the entire day to go through. So working from home and telecommuting have a lot of legal issues that we can go over. Um, I think we can all agree that the post-virus employment is going to look a lot different for a lot of people. Uh, many people are working from home right now and are going to continue to work from home. And the question becomes, like you, like you said earlier, what happens if someone's injured while working at home? And you can immediately see how this is gonna be problematic. Uh, I'd say, first of all, there's most likely not gonna be a witness. Um, we also don't have a lot of guidance from case law on this. So I should say that a compensable work injury is one that arises out of and in the course and scope of employment. It's come from the statute. But we look to a couple things to evaluate that. Locations one, so New Jersey has a strong premise law. If you're injured at work physically, it's often deemed a compensable accident. So you're walking down the hall, you slip and fall while you're going to talk to a coworker, likely going to be compensable. But deviations uh, are looked at and generally considered not compensable. So a quick run to the post office or dry cleaner wouldn't be compensable. Uh, this is a little nuanced, so we have. Cooper versus Barnacle Enterprises that says this, this is a plumber who's driving around five miles to go get some coffee. The court said, look, you know, if you're at the office, you can get coffee and that would be compensable. So the same applies to this guy driving around to go get his, his coffee break. Now, there are problems when it comes to working at home because, again, there's not a lot of case law, but we still look to location and deviation. Let's walk through a couple of examples. All right, so you have example one, you fall out of an office chair while you're working at home. Work, working at home, That's probably gonna be compensable, but if you fall in the backyard, probably not. If you're upstairs and you go to make a sandwich, it's probably gonna be compensable, but if you go downstairs in the basement to do some laundry, that's probably not. And it gets a little gray and a little blurry because if you're in the jacuzzi, that's not compensable. But if you fall while getting out to go answer an urgent email and, you know, it, it, it gets a little blurry. But luckily, uh, there are a few things that employers and employees can do to, uh, to work through these legal issues. I'd say for the employees, it's really important to know the policies. And if you don't know the policies, to ask questions. And for the employers, it's really important to have policies, to have guidelines. You know, what is an office space? Are there log on times? And what are the reporting requirements if there is an injury? And don't be afraid to reach out to legal counsel if you have questions. Uh, so that would do it for me, Ben. I, again, we could spend all day talking about this, but thank you for having me on. Thank you to Crystal IT. And if anyone has any questions, I am available to talk further. So thanks.
Thank you very much for coming on, John. It's, it's our job to protect from an IT perspective. It's your job to further protect from a legal perspective. Uh, so it works hand in hand. And uh, it's more about just educating on the IT stuff when it comes to working from home. So thank you very much for joining. And everybody, if you have any questions for John, please reach out to John at the number on your screen uh, below. And uh, please feel free to comment and leave some uh, messages for us. Thank you very much for watching.